Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. And I want to welcome you to another exciting edition of uh, our weekly TV show, Pinoy Power Hawaii, here on Think Tech Hawaii. Our mission on Pinoy Power Hawaii is to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower you, mga kababayans. It is an extension of our very popular radio program on KPRP 650 AM. Uh, next month, we will be celebrating our 13th anniversary of empowering others. And again, we want to thank Think Tech Hawaii for giving us the opportunity to uh, have a converse, conversation with you, to uh, share our thoughts, our ideas on how to be empowered and to be a better person. To do just that today, we have a special guest, and she's part of our empowerment on KPRP Pinoy Power Radio. I want to introduce our resource personnel, a popular DJ, hopelessly devoted to you, Noamum Lakuma and Manic Monday. Here is DJ Melinda Pasqua Gamble. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Ate. She is my little sister, and uh, you know, sh when she uh, first started with us, uh, I'm not sure if uh, she uh, had any idea of uh, the hurricane that would come <laughs> her way and would uh, sweep her off to uh, a tropical uh, paradise. Uh, tell us about uh, your upbringing uh, first before we move on to other things. Okay. Uh, well, I came to Hawaii when I was uh, nine years old, I think, just mm -hmm. like you, you okay. were nine years old. Um, I'm uh, the second child of five children, mm -hmm. the oldest girl. Uh, okay, so my, in the Philippines, I finished grade one to grade three, mm -hmm. studied grade four here in Hawaii at Lake Lake Elementary. Mm -hmm. So as the oldest girl and um, the second child, it was always, um, you have to show examples to all your mm -hmm. siblings, although I have an a older brother. Right. Um, my mom worked evening shifts, yeah, mm -hmm. so I was like the, I had to make sure that my younger sisters were taken care of mm -hmm. when we got home. Well, in the morning, I had to cook breakfast for them, you know, bring them to school, and then uh, brought them back to school, uh, from school to home, do our homework. Mm -hmm. By then, mom would be gone to go to work, for, uh, 3 to 11. My dad would still be at work, coming home from work. So I had all the responsibility of being mm -hmm. an older sister. Okay, so that explains why you are so into uh, task and uh, uh, <laughs> task-oriented and always have a to-do list yes. and making sure that every I is dotted and every T is crossed. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know me for, for, for that, Ate, yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and that's very, very impressive. Uh, in addition to uh, always being prompt and being <laughs> on time. Uh, so I was wondering mm -hmm. uh, how and where did you pick up this type of oh, okay. uh, att attributes? Uh, okay, so after, um, I guess, to make lo uh, a long story short, mm -hmm. I didn't go to college right after high school. It took me 10 years after graduation, then I I went to college. Mm -hmm. By then, I was already married, had two kids. Mm. Okay, so college does a lot of things. You know, it opens up so much for you. Um, and then I became um, actually I work as a. So let me backtrack a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right after high school, uh, parents usually send their kids to college, right? Uh, the the usual, family, right? right? Yeah. So, but. Um, I went to medical assisting school. <coughs> I, you know, I finished that, but I, I still wasn't. Um, I still wasn't satisfied with that, and then um, I decided that uh, when my second child was born, that I would be back in college. Mm -hmm. So I completed my bachelor's degree in business, and it taught a lot. It taught me a lot of things, uh, dealing with different 
types of people, and meeting with your group, your 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 um, group, you have to make sure that you have to do things in a timely manner. You have presentations to do mm -hmm. as an individual and as a group. So you have to make sure that you, as a working professional, working eight hours a day and going to school in the evening, you have to make sure that you have everything written down so you can accomplish it. So I guess your question to answer that, mm -hmm. I got it from going to college and making sure that <coughs> I accomplish everything as a working mom and going to school at the same time. Okay, so that explains mm -hmm. your uh, ability to uh, do things and to lead because of your early training. Let's backtrack a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, when you first arrived in Hawaii, no, any other uh, challenges nga na dite na pasama kenka bayat nga dite agad adjust ka nga agbaling na party iti society to be able to blend in, to be able to feel that sense of belonging. Um, Kasanong na overcome mo dito yung uh, Actually, ate, when I was uh, when I was in elementary and going to middle school, I was very shy. You know, mm -hmm. I was very timid. Okay, yeah, uh, I was afraid to speak. To um, oh, hard to tell nowadays. I know. So that, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, it was just a total uh, change, I guess. Going to college, like I said, you deal with mm -hmm. a lot of people. But growing up as a oldest daughter, a second child, but the oldest girl. Mm -hmm. I have a, my brother, me, and I have two little sisters right. below me, and I have a, a, a youngest brother. Mm -hmm. um, it was really tough growing up, you know. Um, my mom always said, you know, if you wanted to buy something, it, it always says, oh, we don't have money, we mm -hmm. don't have money, okay? So growing up like that, and then when it became, when I became 16 years old, when it was legal to work as a as a student, 16 years old, mm -hmm. I went to get my working permit. Mm -hmm. And at 16 years old, I was working, going to school during the day. And you were, students were limited to work from five, not later than 10 because mm -hmm. of curfew. So I was working at 16 years old because I wanted to buy the things that I couldn't buy because we didn't have money. I mean, mm -hmm. this is reality. I've never talked to anybody about it, but you know, as growing up as a teenager, mm -hmm. you want to be able to, wow, all of those girls have nice clothes mm -hmm. and you don't. So I was determined to work at 16 years old. So you found a way mm -hmm. to make things happen for you. In, in other words, hamunga inurayan nga kayat munga guntaway. You didn't wait for uh, things to happen. You made it happen by yes. um, creating a way for you to be able to afford uh, things. Well, and then um, instead of using the bus money nga ited ni mami kinidadi nga bus fare, yeah. from home to Kalakawa to Farrington, I used to walk it. Okay. So, so, that, so that I can see. Makasalbar ka. Yeah. Wow. So. <laughs> Uh, she's very resourceful. This is why uh, she's uh, <laughs> our resource person on uh, our radio today, and she really helps to uh, make things uh, happen for us uh, on uh, Pinoy Power Radio. Yeah, I uh, I, I, I observe uh, what you do, and uh, along the way, I said uh, she has really good work ethics. You know, and sometimes I refuse to uh, be corrected by you because <laughs> I'm your older sister. I'm supposed to know uh, everything, but uh, there are things that I've I've learned from Melinda. Uh, always uh, being punctual. If you're on time, you're you're Already. you're late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, she always uh, proofread my memos, my letters. Uh, to make sure that I do look professional. Uh, so uh, Melinda does all that for me, so so that we would keep uh, our uh, image, profession, yes. pro professional image. And um, I wanted to uh, thank you for that, because those work behind the scenes are very, very important to be able to project that professional image. Well, that's, that's your image, Ate. And I want to make sure that, like you said, we look professional. And you have so much on your plate that somebody have to come and mm -hmm. you know do that. And if I'm sorry if I mean I, I don't mean to be correcting you, but 
in the long run, if you have it printed on a book like our souvenir, mm -hmm. you can't you can't correct that mistake once it's printed. Yes. So you want to make sure that uh, it's corrected before it goes to printing. We are professionally ready. <laughs> uh <-huh. Yes. laughs> um, Okay, so the uh, uh, lection and moral iti biag nga nasorosorom habang uh, uh, dite uh, sika iti uh, uh, nakaitedan iti responsibilidad mm -hmm. nga mangtaming mang taripato uh, to take care of your uh, young uh, sisters mm -hmm. carried on to your. Uh, family life, your immediate family life, and also your bus business life. Uh, so, how did you apply the gitoing na sorsorom, the gitoing tawid, the gitoing na galad, kanawidan, tatapnon agbalaigi ka? And it's okay for you to speak in <laughs> Ilocano. Uh huh. Um, amum ate iti panagdakil ko aya um. Importante la una pa iti panang uh, admit po na acceptar tayo nga uh, Ilocano tayo. Mm -hmm. Aya, adu da iti galad itan nga saan nga mausosar iti galad ni Ilocana wen no ni Pilipino. Mm -hmm. Kas, uh, for example kuma um, iti panagsao tayo iti Ilocano. Mm -hmm. Adu da iti ma pamimit tayo along the way nga mas daaw da no agsarita ti Ilocano because mm -hmm. pag nga sa anak nga Ilocano. Mm -hmm. Nung importante lo unay nga daytoy nga galad tayo dagiti values ti Ilocano, mm -hmm. we have to uh, preserve those. Adami dagiti da doon mga umay nga ore teenagers dan mm -hmm. and kasaritam ti Ilocano ket sanda nga amuti kasla sanda amuti ag Ilocano. I'm very <laughs> thankful that you brought that up. Uh, Gaputa uh, dagitoy nga tatao, they really don't uh, realize nga mm -hmm. they're really missing the boat by uh, turning their back yes. uh, of who they are, mm -hmm. what molds them uh, of uh, who they truly are. Yeah. It is a aging kukuna ko natin yo, kasla daytay nakatokno iti karatay ko natin yung Yeah, remember the gijay karatay yo when we were growing up? Kaya't malipatan dan, kaya't dan nga iwaksi, dagi to'y naduma-duma nga galad tayo, dagi tinasayat unay nga kanawidan tayo nga Pilipino, lalo-lalo ni Ilocano, nga insursoro, dagi to'y naganak ka da tayo, dagi to'y apu tayo, nga nasayat la unay, nga usaren tayo, tatapno, agbalaigi tayo, agbalin tayo, nga nasaysaya at pa nga nga tao. Well, ate, mm -hmm. ya yeah, adu da gitay ma mamimita yun no kwa nga uh, kas, kasarita da kati wano kasaritam ti Ilocano uh, and then sa anda nga kaitag sarita. So, mm -hmm. day ta iti pagyamyamana gapukin ni lolang mi idi. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you why. Uh, saan nga makasarita iti English. Mm -hmm. So, na-encourage kami nga kapilitan nga nagsasarita kami lahat iti Ilocano. So, ado mm -hmm. nag mas daaw, no, siyam titawan ko iti nga makasarita at palang mm -hmm. iti Ilocano. Gapu iti day. Takadagyaman at ken kuwana, ken da mami, ken ni daddy, ta mm -hmm. panayong nga kinasasarita da kami lahat iti Ilocano. Tap nun sa aming nga malipatan. Very, very good. I'm glad you brought that up because I also had a grandfather who encouraged me Uh, hamu nga ibabayin iti nagapuam, hamu yeah. ibabayin iti kinataom ta daytoy nga talaga iti partem nga hamu pulos nga masukatan ko nana. Yes. And those are the uh, valuable lessons in life that uh, we wanted to share with you while growing up. And this is a uh, uh, wisdom that's been carried from one generation to another. We will come back with our uh, intimate, uh, our personal heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversation with uh, my uh, little uh, sister, Melinda Pascua Gamble. Editor Think Tech Hawaii.
Welcome back to Think, uh, Think Tech Hawaii, our weekly show, Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson, and we are so happy that you could join us today. We're having a personal conversation with Melinda Pascual Gamble. Uh, she is one of my popular uh, DJ with so many followers and fans on KPRP 650 AM and, of course, uh, Pinoy Power uh, Radio on the, our Ustream and our uh, global uh, connection. We're talking about uh, dealing with uh, adversity, um, dealing with the, the challenges, and uh, sometimes the gitay wagastayo to <clears throat> hide our true uh, selves mm -hmm. uh, behind a, a black shroud or uh, whatever it is that we are running away from or we are hiding from, uh, we tend to sometimes pretend to be someone that we're not. But that is quite different from the teachings and the gitigalad, the gitikanawidan nga na i-mention may tatay, nga insursoro, the giti apo tayo nga daytay salimut butan tay ko matidayaw lalo da gitay uh, Pilipina mm -hmm. uh, da gitay na mga dayaw uh, these are the traits and uh, characters that we should hold closely and dearly to our hearts so uh, we're doing just that and i'm happy that uh, Melinda is uh, beginning to open up uh, some of her personal uh, uh, personal experiences. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move on and uh, ask you uh, how did you deal with uh, crab mentality? Because it is very uh, mm. prevalent uh, to our culture. Uh, at the, honestly, um, I, I didn't feel it until I became one of your radio personality, the crab mentality, of, uh -huh. you know. Yeah, remember I told you uh, when I just started, I didn't realize this is how it is, Ate. Uh, yes. You know, and everywhere you go, I can, I can actually say that every place I've worked, mm -hmm. there will always be somebody that doesn't agree with you or doesn't really like the way you are. Okay, I, I didn't know that crab mentality, I mean, it could lead to that crab mentality mm -hmm. until you... You got on radio. You took me under your wings. You mm -hmm. put me in front of the radio. Let me swim all alone. <laughs> I thank you for that, Ate. Honestly, serious, uh -huh. on a serious note. I didn't know where it would lead. Not, mm -hmm. I didn't realize this is where I am today with you. I had no idea. So I have you to thank. <laughs> it's a pleasant experience, although sometimes yeah. uh, it is uh, challenging uh, because of uh, our culture. Mm -hmm. We should be aware of these things so mm -hmm. that we don't repeat it, or mm -hmm. perhaps we could uh, serve as role models role model to others and prevent them from experiencing this type of uh, uh, negative or, you know, uh, uh, the worst of it is it, it steals your dreams mm -hmm. and it takes away, it robs you of your power uh, when you are surrounded with this type of uh, crab mentality. And it's unfortunate that it is alive and well in the parte iti cultura yung Pilipinos. So. Uh, but how I stay away from it, mm -hmm. because I don't want to be too exposed uh, with that. Um, and although you try to avoid it, mm -hmm. sometimes you cannot. You because can't. <laughs> it's there. It, it yeah. stares at you. So uh, for me, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to me, it's a battle zone every day because instead of uh, other Filipinos uh, being happy for the success mm -hmm. or for, for us to break the ceiling mm -hmm. of uh, empowering others, uh, they give us that crab mentality treatment. Let me ask you, how mm -hmm. do you handle it? Because I'm learning a lot from you. Okay. <laughs> well, 
Uh, I can uh, easily uh, say that I have my own way of coping, mm -hmm. uh, my own uh, coping skills that I have developed along the way. It is not easy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, the one that is on top of my list is to keep the faith. Mm -hmm. You know, always have that uh, uh, open dialect with uh, my Savior, with Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. because He is my strength. He is the one that guides me. He is the one that uh, uh, tell me in a small, still voice mm -hmm. that uh, everything will be all right. Everything will be okay. Uh, all I need to uh, do is to uh, have that discernment mm -hmm. to be able to recognize that uh, these are part of the influences of the devil. Yes. So make sure that I don't follow. Hang kung asuroten the gitang mang mang mangted kanya kiti temptation. Tatap no anak nga agbalin nga parte daytang na nalidem unay uno daytay saan nga nalawag nga pagturongam. Did I answer your? Yes, Ate. And um, I'd like to piggyback on that, like mm -hmm. um, during my, my, in the beginning of my show, I always have the devotion mm -hmm. because as soon as I wake up in the morning, you know, I thank Lord for another day. And yeah, just like you, I have faith and I have faith in him that he will lead me the right way, that he will guide my path. Mm -hmm. So having God in my life and even with all the challenges that I've been through life, I uh -huh. mean, I haven't even started yet. I, I can remember from grade four, I had already had God in my life. Mm -hmm. So he is a very big part of my life as well as him being a big part of your life. Yeah, the best is yet to come. <laughs> um, my big challenges uh, was uh, really, really, uh, or, or my faith was uh, tried when uh, I started to have my own family and being married to a uh, very prominent uh, person, Tito Mahal, has been a very successful business person, mm -hmm. and uh, he worked his way up from the bottom to uh, being a vice president of uh, Prudential. Yep, okay. So, uh, you know, all these things, they look, people look at you from the outside, and you have all the successes, uh, our children are doing well, and then on top of that, I was fortunate enough to uh, uh, win the Mrs. Hawaii Filipina crown, mm -hmm. which made it even more difficult. Mm -hmm. So uh, faith is a key factor, Melinda. Yes, I And uh, you have one minute to kind of wrap up our discussion. Uh, tell us how uh, you would continue uh, having that faith so that you're not distracted from empowering others. Well, um, like I said, every morning, you know, um, and since grade four, I can remember grade four running to the bathroom, and I had the relationship with him already. And the, it's not decreasing, but increasing every single mm -hmm. day. I continue to serve at our church. Um, AJ um, is a very big part of that. Um, now an altar boy. He's an altar boy. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I am doing my best to keep him there at the private school because it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. But as a single mom, it is very challenging. But I trust God mm -hmm. that whatever I'm doing, he will be here for us, for my family. Mm -hmm. And my I would like to stay with you uh, on the radio. And I pray that we will have more sponsors so that we can continue empowering all of our listeners around the world. Yes, let's uh, pray and hope for that. Congratulations. It's, been, it's been a pleasure having you on board, Melinda, and you are part of our empowerment along with the other uh, 40 uh, powerful and unique uh, DJs that we have on Pinoy Power Radio. We're so grateful for the opportunity to be able to uh, come to your homes uh, every day at 6.50 a.m., uh, where we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and the big picture for us is to empower. So. I I encourage you to do just that. Help us with our empowerment, and I know that uh, God will lead us and show us the way. Thank you for being my guest today. Thank you, Ade. And uh, you. for sharing the empowerment. Thank you again, uh, Think Tech Hawaii, uh, to the wonderful staff for doing such a remarkable uh, job. Uh, again, from all of us here from uh, Pinoy Power Hawaii, maraming salamat and mabuhay.